Welcome back, guys. It's another day here on Vlad the Chad. Um, essentially, what we are calling the saga of the Rick and Morty ERC20 token. Um, I just wanted to make a new video because I've been getting some really crazy information the last several days from all of you. Um, wow. Apparently, you know, baby Trump was in on this same scam, most likely. Uh, if you look at their website, it's down. Um, just like Rick and Morty here, their website, it's down. Um, I don't know about Hoka Genu. I've been telling everybody Hoka Genu because I was told by some of you Hoka Genu looks just the same, and it does. This looks a lot like the Rick and Morty website. So if Hoka Genu is a legit token, I'm sorry, but you look just like Rick and Morty. Whoever did your website is probably the same people that did the Rick and Morty and the Baby Trump scam. I, I never saw the Baby Trump website, so I can't verify that. But I did see the Rick and Morty website, and it looks just like this. A lot like this. A lot like this. The phases of the, the holders and everything else, all this, it's the same. 1,000, 5,000, 10,000, those are the same numbers as Rick and, and Morty. CoinGecko and CoinMarketCap, that was the same. This over here looked pretty much the same. The only thing here is they don't um, mention a swap like Rick and Morty had. But this button right here, dead giveaway, buy now on Uniswap. That's the same button that was on the Rick and Morty page when I loaded it. So I don't know. I've been looking to see if Okajinu was a rug pull. From what I can tell, I can't. I did see this one. A lot of you are seeing this now. Evolved Apes disappears with $2.7 million. Because nobody knew who this guy was, I'm assuming, right? Nobody knew this guy's name. Nobody knew this guy's face. Yet we gave him millions of dollars and millions and millions of dollars to just run off with. Now you understand why I'm needed now. Why people like me are needed. I want to make it to where everybody is uncomfortable. And you have to be on here, showing your face, talking to your people, if they expect to give you anything. Right? That's the way it should be. You should see a face. You should know the name behind the person who has your money, folks. Plain and simple. You should be able to sue them if they do something illegal, like these people are doing. Okay? This has to stop. This right here, I saw this one. Whenever I just hit rug pulls on, on that Google search and I found Nightmare Before Christmas. And I, I'm telling you now, I'm not saying this is a rug pull, but here I am calling it. Hey, this looks just like what happened with Rick and Morty. So don't buy this token until we know for sure. Sorry if you're the creators of this token, but yeah, you look just like the scammers who, who hit me on Rick and Morty. And so I'm going to tell the world about it until we know for sure who you are, till you come out and show us your face, till you come out and show us your name. Whatever the case, what are you hiding? If this is legit project, what are you hiding? Okay? Literally. I want to know. Because I'm on to you. And there's a lot of other people that are on to you. I am going to get... Guys, I want you to see something. I have a new petition out here. We need to get this to where everybody can see. Because like I said, look. Does this not look just like what we had over here? With Rick and Morty, folks. If you were watching Rick and Morty over here on Dex Tools, this looks just like it. Let's go to 15 minutes. Go to one minute. This is just starting, so it's like, yeah, we can't see Jack with this. It's really hard to look at the uh, the charts because it hasn't been trading long enough. But yeah, look, they're already taking off. Look, they're already dipping off the scam. They're already taking off. They are. This has got to be a scam. This has to be a scam. It looks just like it. Total transactions: 132, 48 holders. They've, they've already started taking profits. This is a scam. It has to be a scam, guys. We're watching a scam right now. The Nightmare Before Christmas. It has to be. I mean, I'm sorry if it's not, guys. I really am. But you look just like all these other scams. So whatever you're doing, I'd stop doing it. I, I, I would come out. I would. Because I'm, I'm coming after you. This is Vlad, the rickest Chad that's ever been. And I'm coming for all you scam artists out there doing these rugs. I'm sick of it. So sick of it. I want you guys to get this document or this uh, this documentary petition out there. We need to get Netflix, HBO, whoever's going to get this out there and, and spread it around to where the most people see it so that we can have the most amount of people looking and asking for answers. We need that. 
this has to be solved. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to, to do crypto trading any longer. New investors entering this market are at, at such a risk from these people because they've been doing it long enough now. They're fooling those of us who've been pretty, you know, savvy at this and, 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 and looking into it for a while now even. I mean, I've been doing crypto for like six months. I didn't get into my first rug pull until this last month. So what does that say about the people who aren't doing any crypto and just like hop on? We've got to stop this or the, our governments are going to do it for us. As much as those of us in the United States ha uh, hate to say that we don't want the SEC to step in, I don't see how they're not going to at this point if we don't do something ourselves. That's what I'm trying to tell you all. Right now, we have to stop this madness or we're all going to be in trouble. This is getting crazy. Like straight up crazy. Guys, you've been asking me about my new website. I didn't even want to show you because it's horrible. I've hired people to do this. I bought the domain myself. I, I got it all up. This is my website that Vlad made. I've never created a website before. And so you're looking at my piece of crap that I was able to put together in about six hours. I did this in six hours. Um, I used a template sort of to kind of give the layout, but then I just scrubbed it and put my own colors and images and everything else in there. Uh, all open source imagery and everything, and I've got links to that. You can look. It's all open source. It takes you directly where I got it from. Um, but yeah, if you need to contact me, you can contact me um, essentially there. But yeah, guys, this is horrible. <laughs> I understand that. This looks like trash. I did it. I'm not a website developer. I, I hope you can see that I... I put forth the effort and I'm being honest with you and up front and showing you my piece of crap creation that a, a business person can create because I'm not a website developer, but I've hired people to do it. Um, so it's coming. <laughs> I just wanted you all to see it, you know, and let you know I'm not lying about that. Um, if you haven't already, please check out my update yesterday um, and the one that before that even. I gave you guys all the evidence you've been asking for um, where... I was in the admin group behind the scenes, and we had Teleporter, the, ad, the original developer who was supposedly on our side, but there was a rogue dev somewhere that he partnered with, and he had the keys to the developer wallet, the Twitter, the Facebook, all the socials. This, you know, all this information is in these last couple of videos. Not, it's not all of it. I've just given you guys what you've asked for. You wanted proof of what Bop to the Top said, or what he didn't say, should I say, more like it. I mean, it's not that Bob to the Top is a scammer. I mean, he is a scammer, don't get me wrong, because he's lying to you all. Um, he's not being honest about what happened. None of them are. Not Red Queen, uh, Red Queen Crypto. I can't say his name. It's a dude. Uh, I had your back, bro. I'm not anymore. You can kiss my ass. Like, you act like you're on my side, and then all of a sudden you just sneak in and go back over to the other team without saying anything to me? I mean, you just ghosted me. Same with Crypto High, dude. You're a... You guys are all worms. You, you have no spine. And eventually, everybody's going to be watching my videos asking me how I'm going to fix this because it's obvious that you don't, have what, you don't have a clue what you're doing. All you care about is covering your ass because I have all the evidence to prove to everybody I have been telling the truth. Everything. All of it. Never once have I lied to a single person on this channel. Never once. If you go back and watch some of these videos, I seriously look like a freaking crazy person. Over here, history in the making, how Rick and Morty and Saitama. It, it, it's true. I didn't know it at the time, but what I said was literally true. Saitama Inu, I don't know if it's, if it's true or not. People have told me, some of you have told me, that the way that that, that project started off is eerily some, similar to what happened with Rick and Morty. And I, I'm pretty sure that the project is a pickup of, of, of the original. It was a relaunch, I thought. I, the, the, the people that are on the project now are not the same people who started the project. So there's a very good chance that the same people that started that abandoned in it, let the other team take over, moved on, started doing all these other scams. Baby Trump, Saitan, or, uh, Rick and Morty, maybe Hoka Genu. Maybe this uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. I'm pretty sure this Nightmare Before Christmas is these same people. Uh, it looks just like it. Identical. On, dex, on the dex tools. So, guys, we as a community have to put an end to it. I know you can go back and watch my videos and think I'm a crazy person because I'm talking a million miles an hour. It's because I was literally 
drinking grains, those those sugar-free energy drinks with no calories, you know, vitamin B. It's like drinking five-hour energy drinks. I was drinking four or five of those a day. And I wasn't eating because I was on my computer typing and recording and everything else. So I was literally only running on rain energy drinks for about a week. Like I bought a 24 pack and, and I went through that in like five days. So that's why I look like I've, I'm on meth. I've never touched the stuff in my life. I do have family members that, um, you know, have unfortunately struggled with that their entire life. And it's done nothing but give me the motivation to help other people to, to stay away from that. So if you think that I do drugs or anything else, you're sadly mistaken. I do not partake in any sort of uh, illegal drugs in any way, shape, or form. Okay, I, I want you guys to know that. So if you see my other videos and think this guy is crazy or he's on something, you're right. I was crazy and I was on something. I was crazy because I was manic and heartbroken about what I had just allowed to not only myself, but all the other people that I had scammed into this in a way. I felt horrible. I literally couldn't sleep. I stayed up 41 hours straight. I slept two hours, um, went up, uh, up the church, played guitar, came home and, and went back at it for 36 hours straight again. So in the course of like four days, I, I slept like two hours. You know, that's how just, I, I, I didn't know what to do. I rushed around and rushed around and rushed around trying to lay all these traps for all these people. And I did, and I got it all, I got them all. Don't, don't, don't misunderstand me whenever I'm saying like, I did all this for nothing. I literally did all this to, to lay all these traps out on the board for all of these idiots to step into. And it worked on every one of them. I can't believe how successful it was actually. I mean, I'm pretty good at laying traps, but damn, this went down so well. There's no way that it was, it was me. This, that I couldn't have done this on my own. Let me just say that. Wow. I mean, I laid out the most elaborate, just set of traps for all these idiots to, to, to step into behind the scenes. They all still thought I was on their side. I mean, I was literally like, I mean, I stepped in and I was cussing at them and taking over and, and putting on a show like, Hey, you guys have messed this up. I'm going to step in and, and we're going to take direction and hopefully save this project. But behind the scenes, I really knew something was wrong and I wasn't being told the truth. And so that's why I went in. I made that video where I'm talking to the Elon Musk and, and Justin Roiland trying to say, hey, guys, look at us over here. Hey, because if we could have gotten a deal, it wouldn't have mattered what these assholes were doing behind the scenes, which was basically nothing about trying. They were trying to cover their own asses. Like, seriously, I showed you guys in that other video. Uh, which one is it? I think it's this one here, maybe. I showed you where Ch Chad, and he's sitting there like, you know, maybe I should sell off, you know, because he was in like 20 grand almost in ETH, you know, that he lost in this project. And yeah, I understand that. But I was only down, you know, three grand, and I was willing to say he could afford 20 grand. I could afford three grand. We were in it together the same. I wasn't going to dip on you guys. Never. I still haven't touched a single one of my coins. In the video I said uh, yesterday, I had like 810 trillion or something. It was billion. Or, uh, I have 810 trillion. I don't have a, a quad. I, I almost had a quad by the time I bought in my last, you know, set. I dumped in 64 billion Saitama. Currently, right now, just with what I traded out of my good Saitama bag, I, I'm down almost like, you know, it's, it's around $800 to $1,000 given on the day of the market where it's where it's at. But I've seen it be upwards of over $1,100 I've lost so far just in my Saitama that I traded for Rick and Morty. I'm pissed, guys. I want you all to understand that. But I'm not worried. Um, people ask me, you know, how are you going to pull this off and everything? I'm just like, I'm not. I'm not pulling anything off. You guys are helping me. The team that I have together working behind the scenes is, is, is doing all this. Not, I'm not doing anything. I'm only a part of it. You all are a part of it. And I need your help. I really do. I need that petition to get signed by as many people as possible. If we want this to be picked up and we want the world to know what happened, that's the way to do it. Sign a petition because my friend's a freelance producer for ESPN and, and ABC, so we can shoot the video. And then he has connections inside of Netflix and everything. And if I can say, here's the, sh the teaser, here's a petition that already has 10,000 signatures, or here's a petition that has 100,000 signatures that say they want this they're going to pick it up. And I promise you now, I'm what I said before, half of my Netflix deal alone is going to go into funding the, the, the new project I'm going I'm to start. And it's called Vlad the Rickish Chad. You've seen the website for it. Um, essentially, it, it's going to be a token where 1% of every transaction goes into a wallet. 
and it's going to be a wallet where I hire a CPA, which is a certified professional accountant. For those of you who don't understand the, you know, acronyms, CPA is a certified professional accountant. You know, they're not a they're not, they're, they're a lawyer in a sense, I guess, but they just deal with your your taxes. They do your taxes for you. They they, they handle your money and, and your receipts to make sure whenever it comes time to pay your taxes at the end of the year, everything adds up and the IRS doesn't come after you. So I'm going to hire a CPA to take control of a specific wallet. And so for 1% for every transaction, whether it's going to be, I think what I'm going to do is list on the Binance chain first. So on the BSE chain, it would use BNB for the transaction fees. BNB will be dumped into a wallet. And then over on the Ethereum chain, whenever I get listed over there, it'll be Ethereum gas. So Ethereum is going to be dumped into a wallet. What we'll end up doing, I'm thinking, and I'm, I'm waiting for my team to, you know, help me get back and, and we're going to do this the, the perfect way. We're not going to, we're not half-assing this. If it takes me two months to get you this coin, this, to, this token out, it's going to take me two months. If it takes me three months, it's going to take me three months, but I'm going to do it perfect to where this will get everybody their penny, every penny back that you lost. Not just Rick and Morty, baby Trump. Um, somebody said evolution coin. I'm not sure on that one. I tried to look it up. It looked like a legit project I found. So maybe it was a spin off of that. Um, but any, any scam that's been out there, Mark Cuban has been rug pulled. <laughs> I will pay, I will pay Mark Cuban back every penny that he lost. If he will help me get this petition signed in a Netflix deal. And he will help me start this project because that's what the project is for. It is literally to give back to every person who ever lost money in crypto on a rug pull. It's also going to have a 1% on every transaction to go into charities where I can feed children that don't have food around the world. I can put clothing on their backs. I can put a roof over their head. I can provide security so that they're not sleeping underneath a tree or out there in the middle of the, of the wilderness, but you know, being open to the elements or you, you don't want to know what else goes on. Some of you understand what I'm talking about. I'm not going to go into it. There are children out there that I can help and this project is going to help me do it. Okay. That's just part of it. What happened with Rick and Morty? I hate to tell you all. I feel like it had to happen to me because it has given me the drive, the vision, and the focus i mean just i'm focused i'm getting this done it's gonna happen might take me a few months to get it off the ground but once that happens you're not going to be able to stop me you will not be able to stop this team of people that i put together they are incredible and most of them weren't even born until after the year 2000 folks that's how incredible it's insane i'm i'm just like i'm not worthy like, I, I'm, I'm really excited to be teamed up with some really uh, innovative people that are humble and aren't just about getting rich with their projects. It's about changing not only crypto or whatever, you know, sphere they're, they're, they're involved in, whether it's graphic design, website design, or whatever. They're not only trying to better their specific industries but they're trying to just like me make the world a better place and that's what we need is more people that are willing to do good outside of their own interests like it's it's in our own interest to to help promote a crypto coin but what is that coin going to do outside of make us money are they gonna you know feed people are they gonna clothe people are they gonna give people education um, I've been really impressed with Saitama. They've been doing a lot of charity work. I love it. You know, I really like it. And, and I'm definitely going to be bringing that in on all my projects. Every, every project that I, I put out going forward, you know, once I get this first project going and it's successful, I'm not saying if, I already know it's going to be. But once this project is successful and I have the capital to start putting out new, new projects, I will. I'm just going to listen to the community and say, hey guys, what, what kind of coin do we want to make next? And, and we'll put out a poll and we'll run it for like a month or something. And then after the end of the month, <clears throat> we'll, we'll take the, the, the top three winners or something like that. And we'll break it down again to, into another poll. And we'll let, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll really decide what everybody wants. And then we'll make a new coin. And then, you know, we'll just do that. Launch a new project. Build it up. And hand it over essentially to the community and let the community have that token or something. I'm not against, I'm not against any of that. 
I'm gonna put 25 of your liquidity locks on all my projects, so they're not going anywhere anytime soon. I'm gonna turn the keys over to a trust or something. I don't know how to set it up yet. I'm, I'm looking at all that, but we'll, we'll put the keys into a trust or something. And at the end of the 25 years, the um, the money goes into a, a charitable trust. All of it, you know. I'm not in this to, to make myself rich. I am in this to change the world, though. And I, I, I pr you know, I've been I've been promising myself I don't ever want money to stop me from being able to just walk down the street and see someone in need and help them. That's my whole ambition in this. That's my goal for you as well is that you can walk down the street and you can meet a homeless person or a stranger who needs your help and money won't be what stops you. Now your own personal attitude and your own beliefs might and I hope that maybe by me being real with you along the way here I can instill in you those same values that I hold that other people are what matters in our lives not our possessions, not our material things intrinsic value only goes so far and I know for those of you that have you know experienced like loss in your life especially of a loved one you know what I'm talking about there's no amount of money in the world that can replace that that thing that you lost whether it's a, a pet or a, a person or you know um, we've all experienced personal loss that cannot be replaced by money right that's what I'm trying to get to all of us, in, in some way, shape, or form, whether you're a young person and, and you know, you've lost a pet and it made you really sad, you know what it was like to feel that loss. And as a community, we need to understand that this is affecting more than just Rick and Morty. Like, our community is feeling a loss right now, and it's growing because the people that are behind it They've realized who their best target is. It's new investors, not out, not not those of us that are you know they're probably watching my channel right now. It's the new people who are entering the market, who have no idea how to do any of this, and they don't know the the red flags of some of these projects. Like, like I said, if you go over here and look, what a red flag would be is look at all these damn zeros. You know, it's got a good good, like it looks like holy shit. I could I could make some money here. If I just dump in a little bit of money, the market's nowhere. So for me to 10 times my money, I'd only they'd have to go up to a, a 1.5 million market cap. And I, I, if I if I put, if I put a thousand dollars in on this project, I would make 10 grand. That's how they get us. Is because we can look at this market cap and be like, holy crap, this thing just started trading. There's hardly any holders. I'll be one of the first holders. So I'm gonna be a whale. This is the scam, guys. We have to stop this. This is the scam. Stop it. Okay, please stop it. I don't know what else to tell you guys. If this wasn't proof enough for you that, that even big name projects are going to get you, please, please take my word for it. 6 October, a week ago. This is old news for me even. I just saw it today. Vlad, the rickest Chad, coming at you all. I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed because I didn't realize just how big this was going into it. I thought I was sitting on a gold mine of like, holy crap, people are going to want to know this story and, and this is going to help me to fix everything in the Rick and Morty scam. But now I'm just getting... It's eating at me knowing just how much scam is going on in crypto really is if I'm being honest with y'all so please we as a community not Vlad we as a community need to do something okay I'm begging you all please if you haven't like this share this video subscribe to my channel I'm gonna be bringing you these videos pretty much every day if I can because this like I said the saga of Rick and Morty is now a journalism channel and we are basically we're journaling here everything that's going on everything that we can bring to light about this story and this will be part 
of the Netflix documentary eventually or whoever is going to pick this documentary up. This will all be part of that. So please help me be a part of history here. We're changing history, hopefully. I end, my, my, my goal here is to end rug pulls forever. I know it's a lofty goal. I know I can't stop scams from happening. But I can put out legitimate projects that will basically set the bar to where anybody, if you're going to invest in a project and you're not investing into somebody that's being transparent with you, like the team of people that I have, why are you giving your money away? That's on you. Why would, why would anybody protect you whenever you just blatantly throw your money away? I mean, you can walk into a casino and gamble away all of your money. Nobody will stop you from doing it. So why should anybody else stop you from making bad investments even though that you know better? Right? That's my goal. I want to make it to where everybody knows my face. Where everybody knows they can trust the projects that are coming from the team of people that I'm putting together as we speak. A team of people that I hope maybe you could be a part of. If you're a professional, you know, website developer, I need that bad, as you can see. My my website looked like it looks like somebody took a sh uh, a crap. But hey, considering I've never done a website before, I would love to see all of you that have never done it before either do this. You can kiss my ass. <laughs> you know, <gasps> like. I'm pretty damn proud of the fact that I, I don't know how to design websites and I literally went on and bought a website, bought the domains, and created this for you all in six hours. So, like I said, it's a piece of crap. It's going to go bye-bye here real soon, real, real soon. Uh, I've been talking to the team of people all day today um, on getting this taken care of, guys. I really am. I understand how, how bad this, this website looks. I did it. It should look bad. I'm not a website designer, but hey... Given that I'm not a website designer, don't you think it's not too shabby? Now do you understand why it looks like this? Because given what I am, I think I did a pretty good job. And I can't wait until I get it into the hands of professionals who know what they're doing. That's all I gotta say, guys. Um, if you've liked the music, uh, I've been getting all that stuff here on music catalogs, um, the stock music, pretty good stuff. This is New Alchemist that you've been listening to um, pretty much this whole video all their all their music so got some pretty good beats I hope you enjoyed it all um, I'll bring you guys some fresh music every day if I can not have uh, the same old stuff and the same old song on repeat hopefully I don't think you guys have heard a single uh, track here that's uh, a repeat of any of them so hopefully that helps a little bit while we're talking through these videos explaining everything and, and everything else so alright folks I will get back at you tomorrow maybe later if I get you know some good information I literally made a video last night in the middle of the night I never uploaded it because I wanted to remake the video and include some other information that I got after the fact so there's times I made videos and you just never saw them because I cut it never uploaded it got more information and then wanted to make a new video with the new information so <sighs> the life of um a person that doesn't even want to be a YouTuber because that's honestly where this is at I don't want to be doing this but somebody has to do it and somebody has to show other people that if you want to be a person in charge of a project and you want people to give you money and invest into your project you better be willing to do what I'm doing okay that's all so I love you all. I hope that you will uh, help me get the word out, get that petition spread. I'm gonna, I'll am gonna, i leave the, the, the link for that in the comments below. I need you all to take that to Twitter, to Facebook, to every social media platform and share it. And just say, guys, we are literally being taken for millions. And if we don't stop it, they're just going to continue. Okay? Because that's what's going to happen. This is not for me to get famous. This is not for me to get rich. This is for me to get you your money back. Okay? I hope you understand that. I hope that I've been stupid with you all and real with you all enough to understand I'm in this to get your money back. That's what this project is for. My NFT idea has nothing to do with this. And it's going to make me rich. I'm going to give you all an NFT for free because I already know how fantastic it's going to be. And I, I don't care about that. I want the Netflix deal to pay you all back. Okay? That's what this is for, okay? So please, help me spread the word on this. I can't do this without you all, all right? 
All right, till next time.